Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 1 states the following, a model rocket is launched vertically upwards into the air, there is no wind. The velocity v of the rocket as a function of time t is given by the expression v equals 2t squared plus 5t minus 12. And the question asks, find by factorisation the time when the rocket reaches its highest point. So first of all, if we think about what happens to the rocket as it's fired into the air, it's going to rise and then it's going to drop. When that rocket reaches its highest point, its velocity is going to change from being positive, if we take upwards as our positive direction, and it's going to become negative. So at the top, or at its highest point, its velocity is going to be zero. So let's take our equation, v equals 2t squared plus 5t minus 12, and we need to find the value of t that makes the velocity equal to zero. Now it specifies that it wants us to do this by factorization. And by factorization, it means we're going to split this into two brackets. And in one of those brackets, we're going to need 2t. And in the other bracket, we're going to need t. The reason for this is when we multiply them two terms together, 2t times t, what we'll end up with is our 2t squared. If that first term had just been t squared and not 2t squared, then in each of our brackets we would have had t and t. But we need those two terms to multiply to give us 2t squared. The next thing we know is that the coefficients that are going to go into each of those brackets need to multiply to give minus 12, because whatever term we have in the left-hand bracket and whatever term we have in the right hand bracket, when multiplied together, give us minus 12. So let's list some of the options here. We know that one of them numbers needs to be positive, and we know that one of them numbers needs to be negative, because otherwise multiplying a positive and a positive would give us a positive, and multiplying a negative and a negative would give us a positive. So we need a positive number and a negative number to give us a negative number. So let's start with some of the obvious ones. We could have plus 12 minus 1. We could have plus 6 minus 2. We could have plus 4 minus 3. And we could also have minus 12 plus 1, minus 6 plus 2, minus 4 plus 3. But if we move to our term in the middle, the 5t, we need to have two numbers so that when one of them is multiplied by t and the other one is multiplied by 2t, they add to give plus 5t. Now hopefully you can see that of our solutions we've listed there, that lends itself to this one here. Because if we put plus 4 in our right hand bracket and minus 3 in our left hand bracket, we'll get the following when we multiply that out. We'll get v equals, well, 2t times t is 2t squared, minus 3 times t is minus 3t, 2t times 4 is 8t, and finally, minus 3 times 4 gives us our minus 12. And we can simplify that further, because that will give us v equals 2t squared plus 5t minus 12, which was what we originally started with. So let's remove some of our working, and we now have our factorised expression. But we haven't quite finished, because what we're looking for is the values of t that make v equal to 0. Now let's focus on our right-hand bracket first. The way that we make v equal 0 is either by making our left or our right hand bracket equals zero. And by inspection we can see that in order for our right hand bracket to equal zero, 
t would have to be equal to minus 4 because minus 4 plus 4 equals 0. Well, we can't have a time of minus 4 seconds, so we know that our solution doesn't sit in that bracket. Instead, let's look at our other bracket. And in our other bracket, we have 2t minus 3. Well, if 2t minus 3 equals 0, then 2t equals 3. And to get t on its own from there, all I need to do is divide each side by 2, which will give me my final answer of t equals 3 over 2, which is 1.5 seconds. So down here, our final answer is just t equals 1.5 seconds.